Hey guys, I'm here with my design team project for Wild Orchid Crafts, um, and please excuse the noise in the background in advance. My two dogs are running around um, while I shoot this video, so you will probably hear a little pitter-pattering of feet and whatnot. But anyway, um, this is the project that I made this week, and it is a three-drawer chest that I got from just a local craft store, and it was just in a craft color when I got it. I think they had them in red also. Um, but I just got it in a craft color because I knew obviously I was going to alter it and I thought what better way to alter it than with my wild orchid craft flowers and then have a place to house all of the um, design team products that I get. Not that this would hold my wild orchid craft flowers because I have several drawers this entire size that hold them um, but it can at least hold the different things, um, you know, the, like the, the different things that I get. Um, you know, the seam binding and different stuff like that. So um, I did go ahead and first just um, spray paint everything pink. I papered all the drawers and then I really started having fun when I started decorating the outside. So everything I've used is mainly from Wild Orchid Crafts. I'll go through and tell you. Of course, I've used some things from my stash as well, um, you know, using up some different bling and metal pieces that I've got. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show the versatility of the flowers. You know, um, we all love shabby chic, but the flowers go so well with so many different styles, not just shabby chic. You can really grunge them up um, or just keep them really soft and feminine. And I tend to like things more soft and feminine, so that's really the style that I kind of went for because this is another thing I'm going to keep. Um, and the, the top is very plain because I'm actually going to put my desk set on it for my last project. Um, I've decided that would be a good place to keep it. Um, so I guess I'll start with showing you the front since that, that's what we're looking at. I got these wooden letters, um, the WOC for Wild Orchid Crafts, um, and I knew I wanted to kind of put those on the drawer since this would be my Wild Orchid Crafts uh, little container. Um, and I started by decorating the letters first. So I spray painted them pink, and then I have here just some different um, a little piece of rosette trim from Wild Orchid Crafts. And then I have some different flowers, a tea rose, a wild rose, and a tulip, and I'll have the product codes um, below for that. I have some of that really pretty Rochelle lace that I used on my last project, um, and I'll put the product code below as well. Um, and then I have some of their awesome corner pieces. I absolutely love these. These are really fabulous. I actually just ordered more um, of these. I, I love their corner pieces. They just add such a nice, elegant touch. And each drawer is a little different. Um, they're all pink. <laughs> I love pink. Um, but each door, the, the um, design scheme is a little different. So with this one, um, I decorated the letter first, but I added just like a little um, trinket light bulb for my stash and then some little metal pieces over here. So I thought that it would just make it a teeny bit more grungy. It's not grungy. It's still really soft and feminine, but I just added a few of those elements there. Um, and then just some vintage lace for my stash. Um, but I wanted to show you how well you can pair that Rochelle lace with anything. Um, this brown one is a vintage lace that I have from years and years and years ago. And then this one is also a vintage lace. But then I just put that Rochelle lace in between them and I thought it just gave it such a soft uh, layered look. So you can use the really pretty new Wild Orchid Crafts laces with anything. If you have, you know, the vintage laces or newer laces, you can really pair them together well. Uh, and the the style that they carry is just really versatile. This one's one of my favorites. It's just so simple and dainty, um, but it goes so well with everything. All right, so my last drawer is just the C um, in Wild Orchid Crafts. And this one kind of matches the scheme I've got going on that side, which I'll show you in a minute, um, because it's my favorite side. But I have just kind of little... Um, wispy sweeps of flowers coming out of um, the sea here. So I have just one uh, large trellis rose, which I'll put the link below, or the product code below for that. A little metal gear that I had in my stash. And here I just kind of uh, gathered up that Rochelle lace to give it a really soft, uh, ruffled look. And I just use that, uh, I just use my hot glue gun for that. I have another one of the rosettes. This was my last one. I used the last two. I'm not sure if it's something they're going to restock. I know they're out right now. I'll have to ask um, Siri if they're going to be carrying that again. I know they carried it for a long time in lots of different colors, so I'll have to ask them. Um, and then I have just a ton of different flowers. I started by going through and I got all my pink flowers out and I cut off the stems of most of them. So I just had kind of like a little, it was almost like a little tray of candy and I just picked them out as I wanted to place them uh, on the 
board here. So I started with just a large curly rose. I've got a tea rose. I've got cherry blossoms, open roses, orchids, poppies, tulips, heather, more open roses, and uh, different open rose buds in different sizes. Um, so I'll put all the product codes below. And these pink leaves were just some I have for my stash because I'm almost completely out of my Wild Orchid Crafts leaves, so I need to order some so I can start using them. But they have, um, wouldn't the, the green and pink toned leaves would have gone just perfectly on this. I wish I had had those in the larger size and I just didn't have any more. So um, I used the ones for my stash instead, but their leaves are just beautiful. I love their pink and green ones. So even though I didn't use them on this project, I'm going to leave a link below to those pink and green leaves so that you can find them on their website. All right, so here's the left side, and this is my favorite side because it's just like just cascading flowers, <laughs> and that's what I wanted. I wanted just a bunch of flowers, and I wanted them kind of like, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like vines. Like vi I want to say vining out, and that's not what I'm trying to say here, but you know, I just wanted them like cascading out. So um, I really like the way it turned out. I did the same thing I did, what I mentioned over there. I took all of my pink flowers, and I just cut them, and cut the stems off. Even though the stems are awesome, as you see, they just add a really pretty touch. And you'll see on the flip side, I used a lot of the stems. So the stems I cut off, I saved. Um, but I just put a whole bunch of flower buds here. I've got wild roses, wild curly roses, trellis roses, carnations, sweetheart blossoms, tea roses, sweetheart blossom, trellis roses. These are more trellis roses with like the one of the layers taken off. I've got um, cherry blossoms. All kinds of flowers here, uh, sweetheart blossoms, orchids, open roses, and here are some white leaves from Wild Orchid Craft. So all those names and product codes will go below so that you guys can um, get your hands on some of those products. And it looks like I used a ton of flowers, but it doesn't really seem like I used that many. I still have so many <laughs> in the tray. <laughs> so I just kind of felt like, you know, when you're an artist and you have a palette of paints and you work your way through the paints. Well, I kind of felt like I did that with this. I just set them all out by um, on the tray and, you know, darker pinks on one side, lighter pinks, and I picked the colors I wanted um, as I was kind of forming this, and it was just so much fun to create. And I went ahead and put some of those metal corners um, here, too, to just give it a nice touch. And then I have these really pretty... Uh, Butterflies. They're uh, Guy Pure butterflies. So I'll put a product code for those below as well so you can get those. They're really inexpensive and you get five of them. All right, so then the other side I'll show you. Um, it didn't really come out the way I had in my mind. Um, so I'm not thrilled with it, but uh, it was one of those things where, like, if I fussed with it anymore, I was just going to mess it up. So I just kind of stopped. Um, my idea on the other side was just like flowers cascading down and on this side I wanted them coming up. I wanted like a tree of flowers basically. So I used a lot of those stems and I started with some gears down here, some metal gears and then put some flowers on top. And um, also I wanted to mention before I go any further and forget to tell you, I did not whitewash anything. I did not uh, add white gesso to anything, which is something I done a lot on my shabby products projects sorry but I didn't want to do it on this because I just didn't want to take away from the beautiful vibrant colors of the flowers I didn't want to take away from the colors and sometimes when you whitewash things it really does to, I mean that's the whole purpose of whitewashing it, is to mute out the color and I just didn't want to do that in this so I didn't add any gesso or texture or anything to it I just wanted the focal point to be on the flowers and the gorgeous colors so let me stop rambling and get on with this. I hot glued the stems going all the way up. And then um, if you see these darker pieces, that was the, where is it? That was the vintage seam binding in cream. And I'll put that product code below too, I'm completely out. But I just misted it with one of my glimmer mists and I misted it a dark green. And I felt like it just gave it a more defined vine look. Because before that you saw all these little green stems down here but then it just looked like these flimsy little stems going up and I just wasn't happy with it. So I added that seam binding and it just, it went um, exactly on the way I wanted it to. It went on really easily with hot glue. It twisted easily. It took the color really, really well. Um, so I just placed an order last week for more seam binding and I got like five or six colors to play with. So um, love their seam binding. It's fantastic. So down here I also have some vintage laces again. 
um, and I've paired them, some vintage laces, with some of the newer or uh, Wild Orchid Craft products. I've got that Rochelle lace here, and then I've got their little pink rosette trim, and I'll leave the products code, product codes below for both of those as well. But I just thought it went really well with the um, vintage style lace. And that's my puppy, <laughs> so excuse him. Um, and then I just have some little baubles here for my stash. And I also have some little resin light bulbs um, going up in the tree too. You guys can probably see that, but um, I really wanted the focal point to be the flowers. I used some of the white leaves from Wild Orchid Crafts, um, and then I have these pink ones for my stash, but you can see how the green and pink ones would have gone perfectly in this had I had them. So I'll definitely be um, ordering some more of those. And then the back is kind of, kind of plain. I wanted to keep it fairly simple just because there's so much going on on the um, sides. And you may not see the back a whole lot, so I still wanted to decorate it, of course, but I didn't want to go crazy. So I wanted to use up some of the bling I had in my stash, and I also wanted to use these. And I made these with, let me find them, the hydrangea blooms. These come in all kinds of colors. You get 50 of them, um, really inexpensive, and they're super easy to use. And what I did to make these flowers, they have five petals, really simple flowers. I just took these, I, I cut them with scissors, and then I did that for a whole bunch of them. So I just had a whole bunch of petals lying around, and then I just, here, I'll show you real fast. So then I just took the petals like that. I think there's, there we go. So I just hot glued them like that, and then I put a little pearl center in the middle, and these are from... Um, wild orchid crafts as well and they have a ton of different um, flat back pearl centers that you can use and then I just used some bling and some stickers I had in my stash um, but again down here I also paired some vintage lace with some of the modern lace from wild orchid crafts um, this was the lace I thought I had got from wild orchid crafts a couple years back but it was just kind of thrown in a drawer so I don't know if, if it came from them I'm pretty sure it did if not they have one very similar and I'll put a product code for the similar one below and then I just have their gorgeous um, Venice butterfly trim. And I was thinking of adding like a little pearl or something in the middle of the butterflies, but I just didn't want to take away from that. I wanted it to just be kind of simple. And then I have the pearl trim at the bottom that I love. So that's the back. Um, and I just hot glued everything on here, and I had some bling that I just cut apart and um, put there. So... That is my project. Let me turn it around a little bit here. And I really hope that you like it. Um, I'm happy with it. I'm going to keep all of my really gorgeous Wild Earth Crafts products in there. I mean, look at that. Not all of them. <laughs> some of my design team ones. These are actually from some from my personal collection. I just happen to be working with them, so I threw them in there. And then, like I said, I'm going to keep all of, you know, like this kind of stuff and the blooms that I get and whatnot, I'll keep in here. That way, that's all in the location. Um, I will have pictures of this at the end. If you have any questions, please let me know. Don't forget to check out Wild Orchid Crafts. Check out their YouTube site. Check out the other talented designers. Um, if you're ever feeling like you're lacking mojo, go check out the other designers. They have some amazing projects. Um, the Facebook page is awesome. That way, if you don't have time to sit down and watch the videos, check out the Facebook page. They have pictures. Um, you know, you can even go back into the archives and just search the gorgeous projects that um, the designers have made. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please don't forget to check out the Wild Orchid Crafts website. They're adding new stuff all the time. Thanks, guys. Bye.